Yo, peace, peace. Good morning, good morning. So check it out. I'm up early, as y'all see. It's still dark out. I got one of my bros coming. Um, so I'm coming to pick up that victory right there. And he's gonna uh, use it for the weekend. His bike's been down. He wants to go out to Daytona. Well, he's going to Daytona and he's gonna, I want him to be able to ride. So I extended the invite for him to come and pick up my victory. I mean, it's just sitting here. So he's gonna come pick it up. I'm gonna finish moving it out. And uh, hopefully he'll be able to ride it and have fun down in Daytona. I'm not going to Daytona. I got some stuff that I need to do around here, but yeah, he's gonna come and pick it up and hopefully he enjoys it. Hopefully he can ride it. Hopefully it works out good for him. And uh, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna love who's gonna come and get this bike. So stay tuned. Rip, 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 ripping on two wheels. I was gonna try to use my new camera this morning. Uh, still gotta play with the settings, but V got me this for my birthday. Still hadn't played with the settings enough, so. We have a beautiful, beautiful house. I love my house. My wife has done a great job of making this house a home and making it ours. But the one thing that I wish I had more of in this house is a bigger garage. The house that I moved from had a huge garage, had a space in the middle where I can park stuff, had a uh, workshop on the back of it. But I chose this house because I like the neighborhood, but man, I wish I had more garage in this thing. I can't even park my Caprice. My Caprice is not even here. My Caprice is parked at my sister's house, but I have no space to park anything. But look at this. I have enough, enough space just to park the bikes. So we're just sitting here waiting on my bro to come. He's gonna come in, like I said, grab the victory. And hopefully enjoy his day, his weekend in Daytona. So I'm just gonna wait for him and when he pulls up, we'll say what's up. out here waiting for my guy to show up. I'm kind of excited that he's coming to get it and that he's going to get an opportunity to ride with his brothers and ride with his people down in Daytona Beach, Florida. So let's see. And I don't know, I think this may be his first time on a victory. Yeah, I think this may be his first time ever riding a victory. And so I hope, hopefully he'll come and he'll sit on it and it'll fit on his trailer or his truck or whatever he's bringing. But uh, I hope he likes it, I hope he wants to ride it and I hope he does ride it and I hope he enjoys it. That's what it's all about, man. It's, you know, I try to, before in the past, you know, I've always been a kind-hearted person. Not very, you know, not a violent person, not, you know, troublemaker nothing like that I've always been like a kind spirited person we try to help each other out we try to help other people out we try to look out for people you know and sometimes i've done that and it's allowed me to be taken advantage of or you know be disrespected which i didn't allow but it has happened before people have tried to disrespect me because of my kind heart but it's some people that come into your life that have the same energy and you know, have the same kindness and the same heart that you have. And those are the people that you have to align yourself with. And those are the people that you have to continue to build with, continue to pour into their life, just as like, just like they pour into your life. So, my bro should be pulling up soon. And shout out to Lexan for the smart tire pump. This thing is compact. It fits right in my saddlebags. USB charger it even has a light on it. Oh God. Oh, it's dead right now, but it even has a light on it. There it is. 
but instead of me going in my garage, digging out my compressor, digging out the hoses and all that, I just grab this right out of my saddlebags, put some air in the tire, and I'm good to go. And it's USB charger, like I said, so I charged it up on my bike for a few minutes. I was able to fill up the bike tires, and we're good to go. Shout out to Lexan. Brothers do brotherhood. Oh yeah, man. Oh, Since they robbed Fit Nation in the building, and I told y'all y'all was gonna be uh, excited when I brought this man over here to get this bike, and uh, here he is, man. Like you said, that's what brothers do. So he's gonna pick it up and have a good time. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. So you got it. pull it out. Gravity will start to take it, right? Yeah. It's gonna start to see it's gonna kind of drop. And I let it go, it hangs like that. Bring it down the rest of the way. Now there's a pin right here. Pull this pin out. Bring it up. That pin out. Pin to this slot. And then you bring this down the rest of the way. And the bike goes on it. No matter how low the fender is, it's gonna move the whole bike up. Okay. And it's gonna be a wheel on the back. That way, the bike will be able to move up with the whole ramp. Okay. I don't know, guys. This might be a uh, might be another uh, another little addition, another move to the to the business side of this thing over here. Might work. Yeah. I like it. So this one, this is like a shorter, it's like a longer um soft tie. Mm -hmm. And then this one, it's a new set that I got. I'm gonna just use this this as a strap because of the length. This goes through here nice and smooth. yours yeah we we'll already have the schematics already set up oh yeah and that way the metal frame is going to bring the bike so when the bike goes up all of this is going to be off the ground so that's going to put us in a really good situation the lift itself once those bikes go up anybody with an extended back will be on the money so all i do i'll bring it back down another thing too guys when you unload it the important pieces is Right, this pin has to be here for loading and unloading. You know what I'm saying? Those pins are important. When you have a pin here, that as this goes down, you just put a pin here. This pin is normally just to lock this from going up. That's it. You don't need the pin now because it's not going to go up anywhere. And when anytime you, you unload, you make sure to put your kickstand down. Always remember the kickstand down. Once you get the bike back down on the ground. Exactly. And then you just unratchet. The right side is where you want to unratchet. The way the 
the bike. Moves over to that side first. There you go. That way the bike is. That's what. If you don't unwrap to the right side, the bike will collapse and just go flying off. Okay. So. So we didn't get the bike loaded up. Uh, the angle, the fender angle, is a little bit too steep. But my man Sensei is gonna get that fixed. He has some. Uh, he has a new part that he's working on and modifying the lift here so that way it can be able to pick up any low fenders any of that stuff so I, I was hoping he would be able to take the bike and enjoy the daytona but i know he's still gonna go down there and enjoy it but man this rampage lift right here this is this is this is something new right here we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna expand on this a lot more and if y'all haven't already i know which a lot of you guys probably are already subscribed but subscribe to ride fit nation check out my man sensei he's giving you everything miles money muscle and then some more than just motorcycle and i promise you that so if you haven't already checked them out check them out on youtube instagram all that stuff right and we're about to do some serious collab videos oh yeah things coming guys y'all gonna keep y'all gonna see what it is about teamwork you know what i'm saying because to me a lot of times people just want to do stuff by themselves and they don't want to share the glory with each other. That's nah, definitely. nah, not me and this brother. We, oh, gonna, we got some stuff coming y'all way. Keep your eye out or your eyes out and uh, let's make it happen, man. Yep. Let's do what we do. Collaborative economics.